Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to give you a presentation on hydrocarbon prospect of Assam Basin. 16 people worked together to create this PowerPoint presentation. Here are the names of the team members. The Assam Basin is situated in the Ne part of India categorized. The basin covers an area of 1,16,000 square kilometers. Major tectonic elements of the basin are Assam Shelf, Naga Shapan Belt, Assam Arakan Fold Belt. The oil exploration in India commenced with the discovery of Digboy oil field of Assam. The chief oil fields of Assam are Digboy, Nahorkhathia, Maran, Rudrasagar and Lakhwa. Physiographically, Assam is an intermontane basin, forming a broad valley of the Brahmaputra River bounded by the Himalayan foothills, to the northwest, the Mishmi Hills to the northeast, the Naga Hills to the southeast and the Shillong Mikir Plateau to the southwest. The Upper Assam Basin is the earliest known petroliferous basin in India. It is at present a major supplier of petroleum in India. Estimated reserves of petroleum in Assam Basin is 3,180 mmt. The basin covers the states of Meghalai and Assam. The Upper Assam Basin consists of Northern Himalayan Fallend Basin and the Southeastern Assam Arakan Fallend Basin. The AAFB consists thick wedge of pre orogenic passive margin, Cretaceous Eocene, Khasi Jansha groups, and deep marine Oligocene, Baril group, Fleisch sediment, overlain by post orogenic Neogene molasses, Tepum group. The basement of HFB is covered by the Neogene, Tepum group, and Quaternary. The Paleocene to Eocene continental shelf of the Indian plate, which became emergent and which is being overthrust by the Himalayas, on the north northwest and by the Naga Hills, on the southeast comes under the upper Assam shelf. The present-day Assam Basin, a cratonic margin, reflects three distinct tectonic phases. The earliest was late Cretaceous to Eocene block, faulting and development of a southeasterly dipping shelf. During the second phase, in Oligocene time, uplift and erosion occurred north of the many basement faults were reactivated, and many basement control structures became prominent. In eastern Manipur, thin Cretaceous limestones to the south are the oldest rocks reported near the Assam Geologic Province. The Assam Geologic Province consists the oldest sedimentary rocks. It is comprised of continental to lagoon sandstones and interbedded shales of Upper Cretaceous and Paleocene Dergao and Disang formations. The Manipur and Mizoram areas consist more than 5,300 meters of shales and sandstones, and Assam Shelf consists more than 500 m of sandstones and shales of the Upper Cretaceous and Paleocene Disang Formation. The top of the Dergao and Disang is overlain by the medium-grained massive sandstones of the Paleocene and Eocene Jansha Group Tura and Langpur Formations and is also marked by an unconformity. In a fluvial to marginal marine environment, more than 250 meters of the Tura and Lingpur were deposited. The Eocene Silet Formation was deposited in a range of environments and was subdivided into the members which generally represents these different depositional environments. The lower Likadung member was deposited in a lagoonal environment consist of more than 350 meters of thin sandstones and interbedded shales and coals in its basal parts. The environment of the Likadung member typically consists of the thick sands of Barrier Bar. The members of upper part of the Likadung Formation are calcareous sandstone of a restricted shallow water platform. The overlying Narput member consists of claystones and silt stones of a shelf environment. The upper member of the silet, the prang member, is a shelf carbonate with interbedded silt stones and clay. Due to contemporaneous platform tilting and basement sourced block faulting the silet formation is depositionally thicker from northwest to southeast in the Assam geological province. A 500 meters of shallow marine to lagoonal shales and interbedded limestones of Eocene Kopili formation are accumulated over regional unconformity marked on top of Silet formation. This figure shows the stratigraphy of Assam Basin, where sedimentary sequences ranging in age from late Mesozoic to Cenozoic are exposed in the Assam Arakan Basin. The sequences can be divided into shelf facies and basinal geosynclinal facies. The shelf facies occur in Garo Hills, Khasi Jansha Hills, parts of North Kachar Hills and Mikir Hills, and below the alluvial cover in Upper Assam, Bengal and Bangladesh. The basinal facies occur in the Patkai Range, Naga Hills, parts of North Kachar Hills, Manipur, Surma Valley, Tripura, Chittagong Hills of Bangladesh and Chin Hills of Myanmar, Burma. 
Now let's discuss on petroleum geological aspect of Assam Basin. Several petroleum systems are present within the Assam Basin geologic province. They have combined the composite petroleum system Silet Kopili, Baril Tipam for the assessment purposes. For few correlations of source to reservoir where hydrocarbons were available to the time of assessment, a composite total petroleum system was used. The total petroleum system of Silet Kopili, Baril Tipam are composed of the rocks of the Eocene Oligocene Jansha group Silet and Kopili formations, the Oligocene Baril group, and the Oligocene Miocene Surma and Tipam groups. These rocks consist of platform carbonates, shallow marine shales and sandstone, and the sandstone, siltstones, shales and cols of deltaic, alluvial and lagoonal facies. The important source rock sequences occur within the argillaceous Kopili formation and in the coal shale unit of the Baril group. Organic matter richness of shales increases towards the Nagar thrust. Baril coal shale unit in the Shapan belt also form important source rock sequence. In the Nagar fold belt, in addition to above, Disang shales also possess excellent source rock characteristics with took around 4%. Geochemical analysis of exposed sediments from the Shapan belt show a toke range of the dominant organic matter type is structured terrestrial. Presence of amorphous, up to 60%, and extractable organic matter, up to 55%, indicates a fairly good liquid hydrocarbon generating potential. In the subthrust, the source sequences occur at greater depths and, therefore, should be in a higher state of thermal maturity. It is expected that the source sequences within the Kopili and Baril formations in the subthrust would be at the peak oil generating state. After source rock, now let's know about reservoir rock. In Assam geologic province the reservoir rocks are present throughout the stratigraphic province. Reservoir rock consists of the Eocene Oligocene Jansha group Silet formation limestones and Kopili formation interbedded sandstones, Turar and Langpar, Basal, marine sandstones also have reservoir potential, and Surma group alluvial sandstone reservoirs are productive in the southwestern part of the Assam geologic province. The Baril main pay sands and the Tipam group massive sandstones are the most productive reservoirs. Permeability ranges from less than 8 milidases to as much as 800 milidases in the Tipam group sandstones with porosities ranging from less than 7 to 30 percent. Barring the Bohor and Champang oil fields, of the Dhansiri Valley and the adjacent Shapan zone respectively, where oil occurs in fractured. Granitic basement rock, Precambrian, and Tura sandstones, Upper Paleocene, Lower Eocene, oil in the Upper Assam Shelf and Shapan Belt occurs in sandstone reservoirs, ranging in age from Upper Paleocene Lower Eocene to Mio Pliocene. However, the major accumulations occur in Upper Paleocene Lower Eocene, Oligocene, Baril, Formation, and Miocene, Tipam sandstone, sandstones. The major oil fields, where oil occurs in Upper Paleocene and Lower Eocene sandstone reservoirs are, Tengakhat, Dikom, Kothaloni, Bagjam and in Oligocene sandstone reservoirs, Baril Formation, Anahorkatiya, Hapjan, Shalmari, Geleki, Lakhwa, and Rudrasagar etc. Oil reserves in Kopili sandstones, Upper Eocene, are found, mainly in the Geleki field. Most of the oil in the Tipam sandstone is found in the Lakhwa Lakmani and Geleki fields. In the Kumchai and Kharsan fields of Arunachal Pradesh, oil occurs in the Girijan formation of Mio Pliocene age. Recently gas has been discovered in the sandstone reservoir of Darok structure within Girijan formation. The Girijan clay being floodplain deposits, the reservoir sands are generally lenticular and somewhat erratic in distribution. In the Khoraghat oil field of Dhansiri Valley, oil occurs in sandstone reservoirs within the Bokabil Formation, Middle Miocene. In the North Kachar area of Assam, potential reservoir rocks are expected to be fractured, granitic basement rock, Precambrian, and sandstones in the Tura, Paleocene, Kopili, Upper Eocene, Bhuban and Bokabil, Middle Miocene, formations. Next, let's study about migration. Below the Naga thrust fault, the generation of oil begins by the early to middle Miocene for the Silet and Kopili formations. According to Mathur and others, the onset generation is about 1,700 million years ago for Langpar and Lakadum members of the Silet, and today the generation is continuing in the deeper portions of the Assam geologic province. Primarily the migration is up deep, along the northeast trending slope of the Assam shelf. 
The paths of migration may extend to adjacent reservoirs but more often as far as 15 km. The significant volumes of oil found must have migrated from deeper areas along the Naga Thrust Fault because the source rocks reported in many fields are marginally mature. Along the leading edge of the thrust sheet the oil generated beneath the thrust sheet has probably migrated to the leading edge of the thrust sheet and contributes materially to the total oil volume in reservoirs. Through reactivated basement rooted faults associated with plate collision may predominate the vertical migration in some areas, particularly near the edge of Naga thrust fault. Our next concern is seal and trap. The primary traps of area are the anticlines and faulted anticlinal structures, sub-parallel to and associated with the northeast trending Naga thrust fault. Below the Naga thrust sheet, probably the sub-thrust traps are present. There have also been stratigraphic trap discoveries, such as Dolia gas field, described as an oligocene baryl clastic depositional lenses, and Hapgen and Sarojini oil fields identified as baryl depositional sandstone lenses. The seals of the areas are the interbedded Oligocene and Miocene shales and clays, and the thick clays of the Pliocene Gurjan group. In the southwestern part of the Assam geologic province, the upper marine shale at the top of the Tipam sandstone is a regional seal that extends into and throughout much of Bangladesh. There are three well developed regional cap rocks within the tertiary sedimentary succession the lower one, occurring in the upper Eocene, as the Argillaceous Kopili formation. The middle one is the Baryl Coal Shale Unit and the upper one, overlying the Tipam Sandstone as the Girijan Clay. Moreover, most of the prominent faults continue upward into post-Tipam sediments, and the rest die out in the lower part of the Tipam formation. Some of the prominent faults, particularly those near the Naga Thrust, are reverse faults, e.g. one at the northeastern flank of the Geleki structure, another at the northern flank of the Rudrasagar structure. It may be mentioned that oil, generated in the Kopili and Baryl source beds, accumulated in post baryl sediments by vertical migration through such prominent faults. Oil within the Kopili formation occurs in strati structural combination traps, as in the Geleki field. Oil within the Girijan clay formation as in the Kumchai and Kharsan fields also occurs in combination traps, but here the control of lithology on accumulation is more than that of structure. In the Bohoa field of the Dhansiri Valley and Champang field of the neighboring Shapan Belt, oil reserves occur in structurally controlled subtle trap in fractured basement rocks. Oil accumulations within the Bokabil Formation, Middle Miocene, in the Khorabhat and Number fields of the Dhansiri Valley, occur in structural combination traps. Next we are going to know about production in details. Oil exploration in India commenced with the discovery of the Digbo oil field in Upper Assam more than 100 years ago. When, based on surface oil shows, a well was drilled on an exposed anticline, associated with the Naga thrust. Other significant milestones in oil exploration in Upper Assam were the discoveries of the Nahorkatia, Maran and Rudrasagar oil fields in 1953, 1956 and 1960, respectively. Subsequently, more than 100 oil and gas fields, including Jorajan, Kumchai, Hapjan, Shalmari, Lakhwa, Lakmani, Geleki, Amguri, Karali, Bohoa, Khoraghat, Bagjam, Darok etc. have been discovered. Moreover, bulk of the oil and gas, discovered in Upper Assam till late 1980s, has been found in the Baryl group of Upper Eocene to Lower Oligocene Age and the Tipam group of Upper Miocene Age. During the last decade, oil and gas accumulations have been discovered within the Langpur and Lakadung formations of Paleocene to Lower Eocene Age in several structures like Dekom, Kathaloni, Tengakhat, Tamulikhat, Shalmari, Bagjam, Panidying, etc. In the Bohua oil field, oil occurs in fractured granitic basement rock of Precambrian age. The oil fields, discovered so far, are situated mainly in the areas south and southeast of the Brahmaputra river and a few in the thrust belts, associated with Naga Patkai hills. However, the area to the north of the Brahmaputra river up to the eastern Himalayan foothills has remained poorly explored. In the Naga Shapan zone, apart from the Digboy oil field, two more major oil fields, namely, the Kharsan field, having oil accumulations in Upper Miocene to Pliocene reservoirs and the Champang field, having oil accumulations in fractured granitic basement rock of Precambrian age, have been discovered. In the Khorabhat and Number fields situated in southeastern part of the Dhansiri Valley, oil occurs in the Bokabil formation, Middle Miocene, which is not developed towards north in the Brahmaputra Valley. 
In some of the exploratory wells, drilled in the southwestern part of the Dhansiri Valley, good shows of oil have been observed in Eocene and Oligocene sands. Next, tectonic history of Assam Basin. The Assam Arakan sedimentary basin is a shelf slope basinal system. The shelf part of the basin spreads over the Brahmatra Valley and the Dhansiri Valley, the latter lying between the Mikir Hills and the Naga foothills. From the Digboy, the shelf runs westward to the southern slope of the Shillong Plateau. The shelf to basinal slope, i.e., the hinge zone lies below the Naga Shapan belt. The basinal geosynclinal, part is occupied by the Kachar, Tripura, Mizoram, and Manipur fold belts. The shelf part rests on Precambrian granitic basement, whereas the basinal part lies on transitional to oceanic crust. The area within the upper Assam shelf, having high petroleum potential, measures approximately 56,000 square kilometers and contains about 7,000 meters thick sediments of mostly tertiary period, and the area in the basinal part with moderate to high hydrocarbon potential measures about 60,000 square kilometers and contains more than 10,000 meters thick sediments of mostly tertiary period. Now let's talk about hydrocarbon potential of Assam Basin. The Brahmaputra Valley part of the upper Assam shelf south of latitude 77 degree 30 minute, where active exploration for hydrocarbons has been continuing for about half a century, seems to have reached the middle stage of exploration maturity. But, the Dhansiri Valley shelf, areas north of Lath, 27 degree 30 minute and the Naga Shapan belt are still in the early stage of exploration maturity. In the North Kachar area, exploration by deep drilling is yet to be initiated. Whatsoever, in view of what has been narrated on Upper Assam and Nagaland oil fields, and source, reservoir and cap rocks, and entrapment mechanism, the Brahmaputra Valley still holds a large quantity of, yet to find, oil, and Tinsukia, Sadia area which partly falls in the Mishmi depression, the Dhansiri Valley and the Shapan Belt possess high hydrocarbon potential worth pursuing intensive exploration. The prognosticated resource base of the Upper Assam Shelf and the Naga Shapan Belt is roughly 3,180 mmt, of which about 27% has been converted into in-place geological reserves. It is envisaged that the undiscovered oil would continue to be found in structural, strati structural and subtle traps in areas mostly bordering the Naga Thrust and in the Naga Shapan Belt. That's all for today. If this video seems helpful to you, please subscribe our channel. See you in our next video. Thanks for watching.